guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be um telling you guys a few of my tips and tricks for hair growth but this is not going to be um, my normal like topical um, hair growth videos i'm actually going to be talking about what to eat ingredients to eat to help your hair to actually retain and grow a lot of you have been asking me to do like a what i eat in the day for hair growth type of video and i was going to film that type of video but then i thought about it and i thought it's more important to focus on ingredients rather than just showing you guys strict meals and making it seem like that you don't have any other wiggle room when it comes to your meals because it's not exactly going off of what i'm eating it's more so the ingredients and your daily routine so i'm just going to be giving you guys more so tips and ingredients and um just a lot of things that have worked for me and i'm also going to be showing you a couple of the meals that i have chosen to eat during the week i do want to make it clear that my food that i eat does change pretty often i don't eat these same foods consistently for hair growth but the way that i eat is very consistent which is focusing on nourishing my body and actually eating my fruits and vegetables and things of that nature so let's go ahead and get into the tips so the first thing i want to recommend to do in your daily routine and i do say that this tip is for a daily routine um, because it's super important i've talked about it on my channel before and that's to take probiotics now i know you guys are probably like probiotics what does that have to do with hair growth why would that affect anything your gut health is super important i learned that when i'm um, going through my courses for health coaching school your gut health really does help with a lot of things when it comes to your overall health so if your gut is not healthy most likely you're going to have issues other places your gut health does play a role in hair growth and hair loss and that's not talked about enough um, i have been trying out these probiotics from this company called you natural i love the way that this company's website looks so i decided that i wanted to put them in this video so this is the flourish 18 probiotic strains for urinary and gut health they do have things like hair growth vitamins biotin things like that on their website if you're wanting to go straight to like um those types of vitamins but i decided to go with actual probiotics they have a lot of other different options on their website but this flourish one stood out to me the most and i love the fact that their probiotics do have 18 potent strains in them which promote urinary and digestive function with proper pH balance and also combats any type of bacterial buildup. They are 100% vegetarian and I do love the fact that these are not super big pills so they're easy to swallow, which is important to me because I don't like taking pills to be honest. So the fact that these are easy to swallow was a plus. So it was a really good experience for me. I do love the fact that they do not put any wheat, um, eggs or artificial additives in it as well and they do not do any type of animal testing so like I said those things really drew me in um, so yes guys probiotics are super important and definitely feel like that you guys should put that into your daily routine to keep your gut healthy and not only your gut but also your overall body because your gut holds a lot the intake of probiotics can be a great way of helping your hair to grow okay so the next thing I wanted to move on to is superfoods superfoods are really good for hair growth um, you can add superfoods to your actual meals you can add them to your smoothies your juices so some superfoods that i wanted to point out today are chia seeds flax seeds um nuts but you have to do a certain type of nuts i wouldn't recommend like brazilian nuts or um, I like cashew nuts. A lot of people may say that cashew nuts are not as healthy, but I like cashew nuts and almonds are really good as well. So you see a lot of times, a lot of hair companies put like almond oils and like um, a lot of nut oils into their hair products. The reason why they put that into their hair products is because um, nut oils have a lot of vitamins in them, a lot of nutrients, and it's actually good for 
your hair health and taking them internally is also good for your hair health. Next thing I wanted to focus on is the fruits that you are eating and also the vegetables that you are eating. Fruits like berries, um, avocados, yes, avocado is a fruit, and things like that really do help with hair growth. So berries are really high in antioxidants and also they are one of the best types of fruits to eat. They don't have as much sugar in them and they're just packed with all types of vitamins they're also packed with beneficial compounds and I also want to point out that greens are super important as well you can incorporate greens into your juices or you can just incorporate them into your meals in general so like kale greens zucchini cucumber um, super nourishing vegetables like that. I really highly recommend cucumber because their cucumber is, has a really high water count. I did want to point out that when you are cooking your greens and your vegetables, make sure that you don't overcook them. I actually learned in my second course of health school of health coaching that if you overcook your vegetables, you actually cook out a lot of the nutrients. So try not to overcook um, your vegetables or your food in general when you're cooking it. So this juice that I'm actually about to show you guys that I made is actually one of my favorite juices to make. So I hope you guys try out this recipe and this could definitely help with overall health and definitely would help with your hair health with consistent use of drinking and taking those vitamins in. Every okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my green juice. I'm actually going to be using a half of a cucumber. I'm going to be using some kale. I also have two apples, some lime down there, and I'm also going to put just a tad bit of ginger. A lot of people say don't put a lot of fruit in your green juices, but I actually put a lot of fruit in mine because that's the only way that I'm going to drink it. And I feel like the fruit is extremely good for you. You know, as long as you don't overdo it, it's fine. You don't have to like be so hard on yourself. Okay, so I'm done with my juice. So now I have my mason jar here that I'm going to pour my juice into. And I have this little bitty strainer as well because this foam stuff I don't want in my juice so I'm just going to strain it over this Okay, so you guys seen how I incorporated vegetables and um, all types of even herbs. I forgot to mention herbs into your food and 100% packed with vitamins and lots of beneficial nutrients that is really good for hair growth. So you guys seen how I incorporated that into my dinner. So that's all you guys have to do is just incorporate lots of vegetables and fruits into your everyday um, life. And I always recommend crowding out, which is a technique I learned when becoming a detox specialist. Um, crowding out is basically adding in good foods and then the unhealthy foods will kind of remove their self because you won't be, um, I guess, paying as much attention to them or you won't be craving them as much so don't like deprive yourself and say okay Shante said that I only can eat fruits and vegetables so I'm just gonna wipe everything out you don't have to do it that way um, just slowly add it in and be gentle and 
uh, patient with yourself. You can definitely change around your entire diet by doing it that way. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention is salmon. That is a super fatty, um fish it's one of the only fishes that i eat i usually eat only salmon and codfish i do not eat any other fish I so i do eat salmon every now and then for dinner and with my salmon i always make sure that i add a lot of herbs a lot of spices to it it actually gives it a lot more flavor and it also is super good for your health you can actually bake your salmon you don't have to put it um you know you don't have to fry it or anything like that because of salmon being packed with omega-3 fatty acids it's so good for hair growth and also guys i highly recommend that you know where your fish is coming from you can go to like a fish market or you can go to whole foods where they don't allow um fish to come in that has been you know taken over by mercury or has a really bad environment they even have wild caught fish at whole foods if you don't want to get the farming fish which i prefer wild caught um fish but yeah i highly recommend that you know if you're going to eat meat i highly recommend that you know where it's coming from or you at least um get all organic meat i do recommend all organic fruits and vegetables as well yeah guys highly recommend eating organic foods fruits and vegetables so i don't want to overwhelm you guys with a lot of different foods there are so many more foods that you guys can try but these are my top five so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know if you are going to try any of these foods on this list i'll have the list in detail in my description box i'm also going to have you natural in the description box for you guys so that you can check out their products as well and check out all their vitamins on their website thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye i don't know how to